I, I think that Bob is an absolute mess and needed to die, but I understand him. Where did you find uh, young rabbit? The, the very youngest? Yeah, because uh, your opening was very good. Oh, uh, the opening was good. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. Uh, Evan Bird. Oh, I'm sorry. You just need a few minutes and you know you are hooked, yes? That was really, that was really me, but the young rabbit was a big part in the opening. And you tell me he's pissing in his... And pissing in his pants, you know. That was, and that was the best way I could... Show, I never wanted to show mom dying, but I thought, you know, I needed to set him up as... The last thing she does in her life is keep him in the car and tell him to cover his ears and say that she's fine. That's, that's the last thing a mother can do. It's what I would do if my daughter were being... If I were being taken and my daughter was at risk. Um, that's the maternal instinct. And then he's left trapped in that car, um, and... Just the sound of that, and the not being able to see her, and the distance, and the fact that he's alone is what sets up everything else. And I needed him to pee in his pants. I mean, I don't know who wouldn't. Um, Evan Bird is an incredible actor uh, who you may have seen. I don't know if you guys got The Killing, the TV series here. He played one of the young brothers uh, in that, and that was sadly canceled, but he was great in that too. Um, I hired him and Eamon Farron, who plays Older Rabbit. I hired them both over Skype. Uh, I, I'm a big, big believer in, um, you know, I'll, I'll look at auditions, and I think the audition process is important to an extent, but I'm mainly uh, about having conversations, because if I can communicate with an actor and they can communicate with me, then we're in a partnership and we can tell a story together. And that's what I did over Skype with... Eamon and Evan, yes. Uh, can you tell me what will happen to the girl? Or do I have to think it up for myself? <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you everything? I think Angie's fine. Um, I think that, you know, they're out buying Ikea furniture. Um, you know, I mean, in all seriousness, I don't believe he would hurt her. I believe that was, you know, the, the, the whole point is Angie can't die. And that, that Rabbit, I hope, has had enough of a beautiful childhood to have instilled the ability to make good choices. Bob didn't have any good childhood and so continued to make the bad choices. Um, I, I, I think Angie's groovy and she's kind of got a crush on Rabbit. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, made him have sex with her. It wasn't even rape. Wow. Yeah. Depends on the Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> well, uh, okay. I'll, I'll, neither one of them wanted to do it, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it's, um, in, in trying to, to come up with what is the worst thing I could possibly imagine. Yeah. Uh, ta-da. <laughs> um, I, you know, I mean, because I was trying to absolutely, as quickly as possible, instill the idea that, um, dad was a shit and an alcoholic and abused his wife and his two sons, and that the second he felt emasculated by losing his job, he was going to put his son in a terrible situation. And therefore, Bob confuses um, maternal stuff, sexuality, violence, abandonment. I mean, she pushes him away and goes and follows her husband after all that. So it's just putting the fun right back in dysfunction. <laughs> The whole sex with mom thing? No, 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 no. There's not so much explicit sexuality. And uh, as, as far as I think, uh, the US Americans aren't, uh, they don't bother so much 
about uh, brutal stuff. No. But, um, <laughs> but I thought this, this, uh, this intent to, to give some explanation to the serial killer is like, uh, no, there's no explanation. He's yeah, don't humanize him. Um, well, I actually went and tried to fight the NC-17, and then you, you pay a fee, of course, and uh, then you go sit with them, and there's a priest and school teachers and theater owners and <laughs> parents, and, uh, and I'm sitting in there, and the priest is right there, and I'm watching the movie, and, and uh, afterwards you get to... Oh, yeah. Um, uh, but they stayed for the whole thing. <laughs> Um, the, well, yeah, yeah, they actually said at the end, um, we think you've made a great film, it just feels too real, and we don't think children should ever see it. Um, my argument was, uh, you know, well, how can it just be the throat slit? Look at Saw, Hostel, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, um, if it's just that visual element, you know, and they said, no, it's the authenticity, it's that I feel, we feel like we know these people, and it feels real, and that's what I wanted it to be. I did, I'm sorry the film got penalized. I mean, I'm no longer getting theatrical release in the States because it took the MPA too long and I had to cut the film. So um, I think discerning parents should be able to start a dialogue with their kids about violence. Um, it's actually my daughter in the garbage bag being dragged into the basement. Um, <laughs> but she wanted to do it. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I think that not talking about violence is the most dangerous thing, and I don't think it's just okay for kids to see things that are sexualized or funny. Um, I'm all for great slasher films, love them. I'm all for um, the, the, you know, examination of sex and violence together. I certainly try to do that towards the end in surveillance. But this was about the horrificness of violence, and... Uh, they just weren't having it. So, I mean, I, I, when I asked specifically, what is it, they said, you got to take that throat slit out of there. I think if Brad Pitt had played Bob, they would have given me an R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the end, when uh, Rabbit discovers that his father, father was into this whole thing and um, Bob actually was his, um, his uncle he lived with all the time. Um, I, I wondered if he thought something like, that, that's my family, that's my, my origin, my heritage, that, that killing and that violence. Did you plan that or is it just my no, I mean, that, that's, you know, and thank you for the question. It's absolutely a hope, and it's also a hope that, um, I mean, because all of those things matter, and, and I, I hate rehearsals. What I do is block with actors and have conversations about what the feelings are and what the options are. Um, and one of the things in the end is there's a moment, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm the only one who sees it, but after Rabbit has killed his father, when he's sitting down on the floor before his new stepmother tells him to get out, um, I asked him to be thinking about all the times Bob asked, you know, did your father ever toss a ball around with you, you know, after school in the backyard or on Sundays. He's asking about his brother. He's asking about his brother who he essentially took care of and took the bullet for at home. And um, he doesn't know how to be a good parent, so he's... Trying? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of those things uh, matter. Yes, his lineage. This is where I come from. This is essentially what was. And the best part of my life, apparently, my mother was taken away. Yeah. I did. Oh, I'm, you know, and, and, and thank you, projectionist. I know everybody's going through hell. It's just that there weren't enough cam lights on the screen. I'm very happy, ultimately, with how it looks. Uh, major girl would for how it looks. Uh, it just looked a little dark tonight, and when I can't see the nuances of Vincent's 
facial expressions, which are so spot on, it makes me sad. But I, it was it was fantastic, you know. Uh, it was everything you hope it could be. And I think every director hopes to get a director's cut. You know, there's a lot of people to answer to, distributors and producers and the people who paid so that you could have a job, those people. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.